Jesus all the time. Come and die, the master caller, come and die. He may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. Did the hungry call and come, come and die. Well, we want to welcome you back to Strength. Through the scriptures, amen. We got Brother Lester Roloff singing in the, singing in the background, and uh, this is episode seven. Sorry about that. I had a little uh, difficulty with the uh, audio. Anyway, we're glad everybody's here today, <clears throat> and uh, got a, just a short message for you. I'm going to turn Brother Lester down just a second. <clears throat> But um, today's thought is a good word, a good word. Now, <clears throat> have you ever um, been in a situation where, you know, you're down and out, you're kind of having a rough day, someone gives you a, a call or somebody stops by or whoever, <clears throat> you know, you get a phone call from a friend or a family member and they just have a good word for you, not really knowing what you're going through. And um, because of that conversation, because of their call or concern, uh, that, that, that's just what you needed to pick you up. Amen. And uh, please forgive me for my voice today. My voice is out. I've been sick for the last week. But uh, thanks to uh, my nurse practitioner where I work, uh, Don, gave me a pack, and I think I'm on the men's. So please continue to pray for my voice. And so uh, we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll make it through it. But in Proverbs chapter twelve, verse twenty-five, the Bible says, or Solomon said rather, "Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad." And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, and that, it's true. You know, you get some bad news, you go, uh, difficult uh, situation you're going through with family or friends or work, and uh, your heart just, your heart just kind of drops down, uh, just falls out on you. Seems like you're dragging the ground. But I'm glad Solomon said this, but a good word maketh it glad. A good word can pick that heart up and, and bring some gladness and some cheer into the heart and into your life. Amen. Uh, that word good <clears throat> is defined as genuine, kind, cheerful, reliable, sound, agreeable, and I like this last uh, little word here, pleasant. The, the, these are some synonymous uh, words here. Genuine, kind, cheerful, reliable, sound, agreeable, and pleasant. Amen. And so <clears throat> Paul, the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts chapter 27 they're in a great storm called a Eurachlodon. And uh, the, 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 the boat's getting ready to be pulled apart. Uh, they're trying to throw things off, trying to steady the boat. But the storm was just a, uh, just a great storm. And the Bible said, And we, being exceedingly tossed with a tempest, the next day they lightened the ship. He said, And the third day we were cast out with our own hands, the tackling of the ship. So they're trying to get rid of all the stuff that they can. And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared and no small tempest lay on us, then the Bible said all hope that we should be saved was then taken away. I mean, they're in a hopeless uh, situation here. The storm is raging. Doesn't seem like there's any end to it. Uh, they're trying to, to lighten the ship, trying to do what they can uh, to save life and to save that ship. But then the Bible says this, but after long abstinence, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, you should have hearkened unto me and not have loosed from Crete and to have gained this harm and loss. So Paul told them not to do this, but they did it anyway. But here's what Paul said. Paul's got a good word for everyone on that ship. He said, and now I exhort you to be of good cheer for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you but of the ship. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, 
Paul, thou must be brought before Caesar. And lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. And so it, this is all in God's grand design here. Amen. God knew this was going to happen. No surprises to him. And uh, 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 the Lord came to Paul and told him, said, be of good cheer. Everything's going to work out, Paul. You've got to be brought before Caesar. Amen. So Paul, well, first of all, the, the angel of the Lord, uh, uh, the angel of God stood with him and, and talked to him and, and, uh, and said, don't worry, Paul, everything's going to be okay. And uh, so anyway, uh, God had a good word for Paul. Paul had a good word for all those on the ship. Amen. A good word is a powerful thing, dear friend. And let me just give you a few things here and we'll be done. <clears throat> First of all, a good word brings forth gladness. And we already talked about that in our text verse. A heaviness, it said, heaviness in the heart of man uh, maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. So first of all, a good word brings forth gladness to that person you're speaking to. Could be a neighbor, could be a, uh, a young member of your family, maybe your grandmother, who, who knows who it is. Just some, maybe just somebody that you meet at the restaurant and um, you, you talk to them and they're down on their luck and they're discouraged, depressed about a circumstance they may be going through. And uh, so here you are bringing a good word and immediately, dear friend, according to the scriptures, it's going to bring gladness to that heart. Now, it may not solve the problem uh, that that person's going through, but you're giving them a, a temporary relief, a good word to bring gladness into their life. Amen. And so that's a powerful thing. <clears throat> uh, uh, Psalm chapter 40, verse 16. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. So dear friend, if we're seeking God, if we're reading his word and, and his word is a good word, amen. Uh, all of it's good. And uh, so if we're, we're studying, we're meditating, we're reading, we're fellowshipping, uh, he said, uh, let, he said, let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And I'm telling you, dear friend, a person that stays with God, studies God, uh, reads about God, fellowships with his people, uh, they're going to rejoice and they're going to be glad. Amen. And you've met some people like that. Every time you meet them, they're all, they're always on a high, they're smiling, everything's going well. And uh, you, you scratch your head sometimes and you think, how is so-and-so always uh, on top of everything? And every time you see that person, they're, they're shouting the victory. They're, they're happy all the time. Well, it just may be, dear friend, they're spending more time with God than the rest of us. Amen. So a good word brings forth gladness. Secondly, let me say this. A good, a good word brings forth peacefulness. Amen. Brings forth peacefulness. In Psalm 119, 165, this is our pastor's wife, uh, Sister Geneva. This is one of her favorite verses here. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. So his law, dear friend, is a good word. And he said, great peace have they which love thy law. So again, if we're into the good word of God, uh, we're reading, meditating, staying close to God's word then we're going to have great peace. Great peace have they which love thy law. And it's just not a temporary peace. I promise you, it's an eternal peace. Amen. Uh, through any tragedy, any trials, any, any uh, trauma that we go through here in this world, in this old body of flesh, uh, we can have peace through that. Amen. Our pastor and his wife, their house burnt down to the ground about three or four years ago. And I think the chimney caught on fire. And by the time the, that they... Uh, the uh, fire trucks got there. It was it was just a mess, and they couldn't save it. They burnt down to the ground, lost everything at that time. I think they were married 48, 49 years. So everything they had in that house was gone. They tried to recover a few pieces out of the ashes. Uh, but through it all, dear friend, I'm just saying they both had great peace that uh, God was going to turn that to their good. Amen. They're going to turn that thing around. And they had perfect peace knowing that God knew all about it. Amen. Even uh, when, before he even created the earth, he knew that house was going to burn down. And so they had great peace during that uh, time. Amen. So great, uh, a good word brings forth gladness. It brings forth peacefulness. A good word brings forth thankfulness. And I, well, I've found that to be true in my life. Amen. A good word brings forth uh, thankfulness. Now, Psalm 100, verse 3 and 4. He says this. 
Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Then in verse four, here's some instructions for all of us. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, dear friend. I promise you, uh, uh, God's word will bring forth thankfulness uh, to, to you and I. We'll, we'll be thankful for that. And if you bring a good word to that person that you're talking to, uh, they'll be ever so thankful that you showed up or that you gave them a call. Amen, I promise you. So a good word does bring forth gladness. It brings forth peaceful, peacefulness. It brings forth thankfulness. And uh, let me kind of uh, tailor off with this thought right here. A good word brings forth forgiveness. And uh, boy, that that is true, dear friend. If you've never tried uh, this, let me challenge you this morning to, to think about this. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, now this is true, dear friend. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When we confess our sins to him, that is a good word to God. Amen. Uh, that's a good thing, dear friend. Uh, just coming uh, face to face with the sin in your life, whatever it is troubling you, whatever you're broken down about uh, that you're having trouble with, and just, just go to God and say, Lord, this is what I've done. He knows already, but he wants us to confess it. Uh, just uh, get it out in front of God. Come clean with the Lord. Uh, I'm telling you, that's a good thing. God is, God is greatly impressed with that. And because of that, he's, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins, amen, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The power of confession, dear friend, brings forth forgiveness, and that's a good word. And so uh, in Matthew chapter 18, look what, look what happened here. Then came Peter to him, talking to the Lord here, and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? Uh, Peter, boy, he, he thought just seven times after that, I don't have to forgive him anymore. Well, Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but, uh, but until 70 times seven, amen? 70 times seven. And if my math is correct, and if it's not, please let me know, but that's 490 times, amen? Now, I don't think uh, somebody's gonna, you're, I don't think anybody's going to have a situation where one person's going to sin against you 490 times. Uh, that, that'd almost be impossible. Uh, so anyway, that's what the Lord said. Not just seven times, Peter, but 70 times seven. And the Lord's just giving that for an example. It, it, what he's telling Peter here, every time that that happens, Peter, then you forgive. No matter how many times it is, uh, you are to forgive because the Lord has forgiven us. Amen. And we're to do that to one another. And so... Uh, a good word brings forth gladness, brings forth peacefulness, brings forth thankfulness, brings forth forgiveness. Amen. Well, we, we, we say hallelujah for the good word of God this morning. And let me close right here. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16. We're talking about a good word that we can speak to one another. But God's word is a good word. It's a great word. Amen. It, it actually is a great word. But let me show you what uh, Jeremiah, what it says here. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16, and we'll close. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. For I am called by thy name, O Lord, God of hosts. But he said, his, he found the word of God, and he did eat them. Amen. And so <clears throat> we just wanted to give you a little thought this morning about a good word. Hope that was a blessing to you. And so until next time, dear friend, uh, please tune back in for the next episode next week, next Sunday morning. Uh, we'll have episode eight. And until then, uh, try your best, dear friend, to, to have a good word for that person next to you, uh, your coworker. Uh, so many times we get uh, short-tempered with our coworkers, and, but we need to say a good word to those people we're in front of, dear friend, no matter who they are. And just think about the power of that good word. Amen. So I'm going to leave you just with a couple... Uh, seconds of brother lester roll off and then we're going to close out and i do appreciate you all tuning in this morning 
and we'll see you next next week. Amen.